Oh my God. Man, seven in my room. What's going on tonight, child? This is the story of Brenda Mullins, a loving 40-year-old mother whose life was tragically cut short. Brenda was in a tumultuous relationship with Davian Juice Bentley, a local rapper from Baton Rouge. What started as a romantic involvement quickly turned into a nightmare, culminating in a horrific act of violence. On a fateful night, Brenda was shot and killed by Davian during an argument at her home. The devastating event unfolded in front of her three children, leaving a community in shock and mourning. Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, a city known for its vibrant culture, rich history, and a tight-knit community. However, this story reveals a darker side of Baton Rouge, where a tragic crime unfolded, leaving a family and community in mourning. Brenda Mullins was a 40-year-old mother of three children who lived in Baton Rouge. She worked as a fire watcher at Turner Industries and had previously worked at All Star Toyota of Baton Rouge. Brenda attended Estruma Senior High School and spent her entire life in the Baton Rouge area, deeply connected to her community. Described by friends and family as a warm, loving, and dedicated mother, Brenda was a beloved figure in her community. She was known for her bright smile and caring nature, always putting her children and loved ones first. Her friends and colleagues remembered her as a hardworking and dependable individual who approached life with a positive attitude despite the challenges she faced. In Brenda Mullen's life, there was a significant individual who would ultimately play a tragic role in her story, Davian Juice Bentley. Davian, a 24-year-old local rapper from Baton Rouge, was known for his connections in the music industry and his turbulent personal life. Why these fuck niggas wanna come and try me? Oh, why, why these hoes gonna break my heart and leave me scarred? Why me? Oh, why if I told you half the shit I've been through, you wouldn't believe. You wouldn't All believe it did was make me heartless, shit made me heartless. Never heartless. thought niggas I feel would ever leave me starving. Same me bitch starving. I used to love, fuck with a nigga I went to war with. I but know. I don't give a fuck, the fact is she know too much. And I would hate to get her touch. That's some God, I'ma die for what I believe. Ain't you a rat, I can't fuck with you, that's the only way I see it. Back, chilling, staying focused, consistent. And that's the only shit that matters. Come good. Sack up, right now. Read that. Bad talk. Brenda and Davian had been dating for a relatively short period when the relationship began to unravel. From the onset, Davian's behavior raised red flags. Known for his violent tendencies and previous run-ins with the law, Davian's abusive nature quickly came to the forefront. He had a history of domestic violence, with prior charges for home invasion, illegal use of a weapon, and harassment of another ex-girlfriend. Despite these alarming signs, Brenda initially gave him a chance, hoping for the best. As their relationship progressed, the true extent of Davian's violent and controlling behavior became evident. Davian's harassment and threats escalated, creating a volatile environment for Brenda and her children. Friends and family observed the chaos he brought into her life, which ultimately led Brenda to end the relationship. Brenda's decision to break up with Davian was a courageous step towards reclaiming her peace and safety. On the night of September 16, 2020, Davian arrived at Brenda's home on Joyce Drive. The two began to argue, and Brenda, determined to protect her children, refused to let Davian inside. Speaking to him through a closed door, Brenda made it clear that she wanted nothing more to do with him. In a fit of rage, Davian shot through the door, hitting Brenda. The shooting occurred around 10.30 p.m., with Brenda's three children present in the home. Brenda was rushed to a local hospital but succumbed to her injuries. Her death marked a devastating end to a life full of promise and potential. 
Following the shooting, Davian fled the scene, sparking a manhunt that would span nearly a month. Detectives quickly identified Davian as the suspect and issued a warrant for his arrest. A crime alert, a man accused of killing his ex-girlfriend is on the run. Dav Davion Bentley is accused of shooting Brenda Mullins at her home on Joyce Drive in Baton Rouge around 10.30 last night. After an argument, Mullins was taken to the hospital where she died. Bentley fled. He's wanted for a list of charges, including first-degree murder and home invasion. He's considered armed and dangerous. Despite their efforts, Davian managed to evade capture for several weeks, leaving Brenda's family and the community in a state of grief and fear. Davian was already a wanted man before the murder of Brenda Mullins. Two months prior, he had invaded the home of another ex-girlfriend, firing two shots in front of her and several children. This previous incident, coupled with the murder of Brenda, painted a picture of a man with a dangerous and escalating pattern of violence. The search for Davian extended beyond Baton Rouge, eventually leading authorities to Denver, Colorado. On October 12, 2020, nearly a month after Brenda's murder, federal marshals arrested Davian in Denver. He was taken into custody without incident and faced extradition back to Louisiana to answer for his crimes. Back here in Baton Rouge, police tell us they caught this man, Davion Bentley, in Colorado. He is facing charges for the death of a woman back in July. Yeah, police believe Bentley shot his former girlfriend in a home along Joyce Drive during an argument. He was already wanted on several charges and will now also face murder and attempted murder charges. Davian was charged with a litany of offenses, including first-degree murder, attempted first-degree murder, illegal use of a weapon, and felon in possession of a firearm. Prior to the tragic incident involving Brenda Mullins, Davian had a documented pattern of aggressive behavior towards his ex-girlfriends. One ex-girlfriend had filed a petition for a temporary restraining order, detailing how Davian had physically and verbally abused her even after their relationship ended. In another disturbing case, one of Davian's ex-girlfriends had initially pursued legal action against him but later withdrew her case. This decision highlights the complexities and challenges victims often face in navigating the legal system in cases of domestic violence. The case against Davian was bolstered by his violent history and the clear evidence of his actions on the night of Brenda's murder. The community of Baton Rouge, still reeling from the loss of Brenda, watched closely as the legal proceedings unfolded. Davian's arrest brought a sense of relief, but also a profound sadness for the life that had been senselessly taken. Brenda Mullen's funeral was held by her family on October 2, 2020, at 11 a.m. The service took place at the Living Faith Christian Center, where attendees wore red and white attire to honor her memory. The case against Davian is still pending, as the wheels of justice turn slowly. However, the arrest and upcoming trial provide a glimmer of hope for Brenda's family and the community. Brenda Mullen's tragic death at the hands of her ex-boyfriend Davian Bentley is a heartbreaking example of the devastating consequences of domestic violence. No one should have to endure such a horrific fate, especially in their own home. Brenda's three children were robbed of their mother's love and guidance. Her family and loved ones will forever be scarred by this senseless act of violence. Domestic violence is a pervasive problem that requires a multifaceted approach to prevention and intervention. Greater awareness, education, and access to support services are crucial in helping victims escape abusive relationships before it's too late. Law enforcement must also prioritize domestic violence cases and work closely with the community to identify red flags and intervene proactively. Brenda's story serves as a tragic reminder that more must be done to protect vulnerable individuals from harm. By coming together and taking a stand against domestic violence, we can honor Brenda's memory and ensure that no other family has to endure the pain of losing a loved one to this epidemic. Let Brenda's story be a catalyst for change, so that one day, no one will have to face the same fate. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.